a Massachusetts company may be on to the next big thing when it comes to the air you breathe in an office building. The company is named Enverid, and it's based in Needham, Massachusetts. And with me tonight is the CEO and co-founder of Enverid, Dr. Udi Mehrav. Udi, good to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. So what are you doing uh, at your company that is different than what's been going on forever, and that is essentially in a big office building, uh, the air is just constantly circulated from the outside? Exactly. And when you bring in air from the outside of the building all the time, it comes with an enormous energy cost of having to cool that air in the summer. It's like trying to air condition your home with the windows wide open. So what we do is we have a product that we've developed called the HLR module, and essentially it's a it's a very advanced, sophisticated air cleaning device. And we deploy them in the building in discrete locations. And they clean the air from all the contaminants that need to be removed, at which point you do not need any more to bring in all those large quantities of outside air. All right, so how does it do this? I mean, uh, you've got some kind of sophisticated, uh, obviously, scrubbers or filters. How does it work? So the key here at the very core is uh, breakthroughs in material science, special materials we've developed that are designed to capture selectively the contaminants in indoor air. And around them, we wrap an entire product with mechanical systems, electronics, and software that, ma that optimizes the performance and makes sure that you clean the right amount of air at the right time. But that is the core that enables this, this whole innovation. And it saves money. How much of money does it save? Like if I've got your typical office building, I don't know, what, what's the typical application? How big of a building would it be? Or could it be any size building? It, it varies. Very small buildings, maybe not, but we go as, as big as a million square feet and even more. And you can save 20, 30 percent of your cooling costs in the summer and a comparable amount in the winter. Mm. It adds up to big numbers. And it does. And, and so, uh, so far, I mean, you've been in business since when? 2012, right? Oh, 2011. 2011. All right. So how, uh, you know, how much uh, interest have you had in your company and the machines? Uh, you've got 40 people working for you now. It's, uh, right now it's growing exponentially. It, it took time to bring the technology to the maturity level that it is today and to get the market to understand and recognize the potential here. But now we can't keep up with the opportunity and uh, we're essentially going to buildings in New York, in Florida, in Texas, in China, in India. And this is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. I would imagine in China there is a very big demand because we know that they have air pollution problems in their bigger cities. Is that an attractive? Is that why they're attractive? That's exactly right. In fact, in China, the energy savings is, is almost secondary. The real issue here is you want to avoid bringing air from outside into the building because that air, outside air is more polluted than the air you're trying to replace in the first place. Mm. So when you bring in these units uh, and, and you put the, is it uh, retrofitted into an existing building? Do you put them in new construction? How does it work? You can do both and we've designed it so it can be in fact brought into any building of any shape and size as a retrofit. But the system is even more valuable when you bring it at, at, this, at the time of construction because it allows you not only to save energy but also to reduce the size of your air conditioning systems and save more money right on the front end. Mm. So, so you're saving money, that would be my question, like how long does it take to recoup the money that you spend on the machines and having them installed? If you're doing it as a retrofit, it could take two to three years to recoup the investment, but if you're coming in at the time of construction or at the time of installation of the air conditioning systems, you recoup your investment on day one, basically. You're ahead of the game as soon as you put it in. Mm. So now if I'm an employee and I'm hearing about this, or maybe a manager or somebody who's making the decisions on this, I'm thinking, yes, the air is going to be cleaner in the building where I work. I mean, so that's a good thing. It's a good for uh, employees are happier. I mean, can you notice the difference? Absolutely. And in fact, there's been uh, a substantial amount of recent research that shows that not only are people healthier, they're also more productive and they improve their mental or cognitive performance. And in the last year or two, we're seeing that big businesses starting to pay attention to this as an economic imperative to improve air quality in buildings. Mm. All right, so you're in Massachusetts, you, you're located, in all the stuff's made here in the United States, right? Yeah, we manufacture some of our stuff here locally in Massachusetts. Some of it is made in Georgia and in Pennsylvania. It's all made in the USA, and we're very proud of that. Dr. Udi Mehrav, CEO, co-founder of Enverid in Needham, Mass. Uh, good luck with this. It sounds very interesting. Thank you very much.